So, when you spawn into the bunker, this is the bunker. You've got the trade room on the left, which is where you can do all of your nefarious deeds. You'll have a kiosk here with everything that you've bought, or if you have any of the DLCs, a lot of your stuff will show up in here. You have a gun wall, you have a mannequin, trash bin, some shelves that you can put stuff on, and the conveyor to sell stuff. So if I took this and threw it on there, the conveyor will take it into there. You can see it'll show up on here with a list of options. You want to make sure that you are selling to the actual distributor that you want to level up because it will give you reputation toward their actual leveling system. Coming out of the trading room, we have the kitchen to the left. The kitchen will have all kinds of food that you can have and, and anything that you need to eat to replenish your hunger and water. You've also got the sink, so you can replenish any bottles that are empty. Make sure that you take one of these water filters that are full. It'll have the blue line on the side, snaps right into there. You can take the old ones off. You just take your bottles, come over here, put it underneath, and you can grab the top and it'll turn on. Coming out of the kitchen, you won't be able to go into the med block right away. You, that's something you will have to level up and I'll show you that system in a little bit. Once you go up in levels as a player, you can start unlocking them, they cost money. Coming from the med block, we have the storage. We've got a shelving unit and a little shelf here that will have an assortment of bandages and NRS whenever you first spawn in. Once you level up enough, you will be able to unlock the second and third room. It will be a process that you have to go through getting your, your player level up and then once you get your player level up, you can go to Merrick in the trade room. And whenever you do that, you can buy the second room and the third room. Coming from storage, you have the armory. The armory, whenever first starting out, you will only have this one wall. You'll have this first room right here. You'll have two shelves, this armor, or the, the two armor dummies, and then the, the gun wall. You will be able to do the same exact thing with the storage. You will have the number three in the number two. In the number two room, you'll have two armor holders. You'll have a mannequin, big gun wall, big shelving area here with ammo crafting and ammo reloading. You'll also have three backpack slots here and two backpack slots in here. I don't have the third one yet, so I cannot go over it, but it has more of the same. And then coming from the armory, you can go upstairs, you will not immediately have the nursery unlocked, but that is where you grow plants. The power is where you go to fill up your generator to have the lights on. You want to grab a gas can. I believe whenever you spawn in from the beginning of wipe, there should be one gas can there. So what you'll do is you'll take the gas can, you'll hold trigger, the cap will come off, hold grip, that'll come off, and you can just set it right on top and it'll pour in. You can do anything in your bunker while these are pouring in. It does not affect them. So if I were to come out here and go into the nursery, as you can hear, it is still pouring. This is the nursery. You'll be able to grow plants and uh, you also have to make sure that this water stays full. There's an automatic watering system that will take care of all of the watering, but you have to make sure to keep it full. You have to fill it up every so often. It is kind of painful at first, but I'm sure that you'll get used to it. From the nursery, we have the shooting range. The shooting range is exactly what it's said to be. You can come in here, practice your aim, but it does not replenish your ammo. If you do want to replenish your ammo and not have to worry about dealing with, with reloading your mags over and over again for no reason, go into the tutorial and you can use the free range in there. From the range, we have the intel room. The intel room is essentially GPU mining. So you grab GPUs from RAID, like I showed you previously, you know, the certain spots that you could find them, and then you just snap them right in there, and then you'll start making Karunas per minute. Then from the intel room, you have the vault and bed. This room is just to show you how much money you have. And um, you can also, if, if you trade with players, you can take money stacks from 
the actual wall here and you can just throw it back into the money deposit. From here, you can go into the barracks. In here, depending on what you have, if you have the Founder's Edition, obviously you probably know most of this, but there's two backpack holders here, and there's an armor cabinet here. In the back here, there's really nothing else. It's just a bathroom, it's aesthetic. And then we have the VR Award trophy.